Hello, it's the Duty Paid here, and today I'm going to show you how to use a Microsoft controller or any sort of generic um, controller for a PC with Minecraft. Today I'm using the program XPadder. I drop a link in the description, or you can sort of search for it on Google. There is a paid version that says works with Windows 7, Windows 8, but the still the freeware version will still work with Windows 7 if you use compatibility mode when installing. So first you want to get it installed. I won't run through that but if you have any problems it's normally the uh, setup file and you right click on it compatibility mode let that run and you should be fine. Now as long as you've got your micro, micro uh, soft controller plugged in what you need to do is create new on this little button here. You then need to choose a image for a controller. Now you can draw one if you wish, but if you choose open, you can run down and there's practically all the different control pads you can imagine, sort of generic kind of Xbox cross sort of PlayStation controllers. Now I have a Microsoft Xbox 360 controller or they you call it controller for Windows I believe so you got the Mad Caz there and Xbox Microsoft and you got the original one as well but we choose this one for now you open that and it will occur in this box here now this is currently unmapped you want to map it for Minecraft so first tab is the sticks and you want to enable the stick one basically it says push left then up and that's all you have to do and that's map it and this will map onto there if it comes up blank first time because I've already done it I will run through what you need to do now you need to go to stick 2 and enable and very similar press left then up and then you move that whoop, wrong side you can move that over so you get an idea where it is D-pad, I don't particularly use the D-pad for anything, but the button's moving on. Basically, you press the button and it moves it to the uh, pad. So, basically, back button and start button. And then Y, X. Let's move them over so we... Uh, don't get confused and A and another one behind it so move down there A and this one hide and behind over there and the triggers so moving on to the triggers enable trigger hold left hand hold right hand so this is already mapped out maybe it's got a sort of memory of when I last did it I was going to show you how to set these up but basically is these are not mapped at all it will come up so what you want to do is click on there and then you choose the keyboard where you want it to go so obviously walking forward in Minecraft is W and WASD so up left right down and then these are the mouse controls in Minecraft this is what allows you to walk up or sort of look about so you just click up, down, left and right. And then Q is drop item. E is open inventory. Space is jump. And left shift is duck or crouch. Escape brings up the sort of main sort of menu screen. E I put on inventory as well because I always keep pressing that. And if you may notice I've got left mouse trigger on the right and the right mouse on the left trigger. Um, so let's open Minecraft now and back to game which you have to click. Now you can see I'm using the left thumbstick at the moment to look around and you can do a 360 spin. You can change the mouse sensitivity so this will move much faster depends how you like it and obviously WASD moves around so what you can do 
if I can bring this sort of box semi up as you can sort of see the sort of triggers working now that's left and that's right and what I wanted to do as well is obviously you want the uh, shoulder buttons so if you want to change anything you just where am I? no not properties spanner? no not spanner I've gone mad so There we go. So you want to click on that one. I was a little bit lost for a second there. So go back to buttons, left and right bumpers, and that is mouse wheel. So that's sort of the central wheel. And then back to game. And as you can see, pressing the uh, left trigger will sc scroll through the items. Now I'll change the mouses around because obviously left trigger is to sort of the main action to mine and right is to sort of place a block. Now I don't know about you but I like the right trigger to actually mine and the left to place. So that is how you can use a 360 pad on Windows. It works um, quite well, quite successfully. So, I will put the uh, links and stuff into the description and hope that's been helpful. And until next time, I'm the Duty Paid. Take care.